Welcome to Let's Play Star Stable. Stacy here, about to check out brand new Fir Grove. I'm so excited. I'm standing by one of the new updated lamp posts, which I made an absolute fool of myself when I visited Star Stable headquarters and proceeded to lose my mind over the small details such as lamp posts. Who knew that they could look so cool and fit in with the theme so much? <laughs> but hey, they worked hard and they drew a bunch of different lamp posts, a bunch of different buildings, you know, for designers to choose from. And I have to say, I really like the lamp post. <laughs> anyway, we're here outside brand new Fir Grove. Same old Fir Grove, updated look. <laughs> this is so exciting. I'm so glad Fir Grove got an update. I think it's awesome. And now it's even cooler. I know a lot of people said they were setting their home stable to Fir Grove now. So the people of Fergrove built these walls to keep out the wolves, and I think they're going to do a much better job now than they did before. Even the fence is different. Oh, I love these big doors with the little person gate. Oh, and to trap, if you want to trap the wolves in, look at those extra gates. Oh, that's so cool. Just another level of defense. Beautiful. And a lookout spot. Oh, here we are. Brown and green seems to be the theme. It does have a very Nordic feel to it. Oh, that's so cool. They look like upside down boats. <laughs> this is beautiful. Holy cow. Oh, I can't get over the small details, the flower box and the... I don't know what you would call this. I'm not great with architecture, but the <laughs> this detailing up here... Look at the sign swaying in the wind. Did it always do that? I don't know, but I like it. Oh, their inn is beautiful. I'd love to come stay here in Fir Grove now. And the new stable. You know what? These wreaths are really cool. I'm actually not a huge fan of wreaths in real life, but I think the accents here are, are, are really cool. That is a great touch. And the window boxes. Oh, even the floor we're walking on is different. Oh, look at the mayor's house. Mayor, your house is beautiful. He looks super proud. And the fence is fixed, too. It used to be kind of falling down. Oh, I love it. All right, let's keep looking. Oh, look, our little old lady section. <laughs> this is so cool. Oh, the wreath on the door and the balcony. Oh, I want to live in Fir Grove. I really hope that more areas get updated like this. Oh, this is brilliant. I love that this area now has its own distinct theme, different from everything else. Can we go around and look at this building? This is so cool. And the cafe also got an overhaul. Oh, super cute. Let's see. Our stalls still look the same, though. That's okay. I don't even know what this building here is, but it's really cool. It's fenced off, though. The stables! Ooh! This is excellent. Oh, look, there's a little space over here now. They grew a little bit. They expanded. Now we have space for new, new horses. Yay! Oh, there's some space over here too. And these guys could always shift over to add more space. Hello. Hello, friends. One day I will have you all. <laughs> and more lamp posts with the flowers on the back end. I love that. Professor Yura, do you like your house? I do. I love it. The benches. I love the extra gate in front of the doors. I, that's kind of cool. So this is fantastic. I think it looks awesome. And I hope you guys watched the video that showed behind the scenes, you know, from concept to creation kind of thing. Uh, I think it was super informative, really interesting, and you got to know some more members of the team, which was really cool. Um, I mentioned this, I think, on Instagram or something, but I, when I visited in January, I got to meet the concept art team, and they were super nice and super friendly, 
And it was really cool to go in there and see all the designs and things they were working on. They love taking player ideas and sketching them out. And not everything makes it into the game, but, you know, it's still fun to imagine. This is brilliant. I want you guys to tell me how much you like it or, hey, I know some people didn't enjoy it and that's fine. Everyone has their, you know, their tastes and style and this might not be your style. I totally get that. But I'm in love. I love this building. So this is my 140th episode of Let's Play Star Stable, and in that time, we have seen so many changes to Star Stable Online, so many improvements. It's been so exciting, and I think this is so cool. I'm very, very happy. I'm happy for the team. I'm happy for you guys. I'm just happy in general because this is awesome, and, you know, the game is almost six years old now at this point, and the, of course, as technology and everything changes, you're going to want to keep that stuff up to date, and I think getting, you know, a little makeover here and there is a good thing, so yay for growth! I had to come back and check in with Elizabeth after our very exciting episode previously. Oh, she's going to teach us uh, about druid training, I believe. The first lesson is to check if you have the ability to track down a person by following the magical aura traces they leave behind between various realities. I'm going to the place where we will have most of our lessons. To find your way there, you will need to follow the magical green aura traces I leave behind. Don't follow the purple wild goose chase trail I'm also putting out. It's kind of like hide and seek. Count to 100 and we'll begin. Okay, so we have to follow the green trail, ignore the purple trail. Uh, oh. Oh, we're counting. For real. Okay. 100! I mean one! We counted down <laughs> from 100. Follow the green, not the purple. Got it. Okay. Green is this. I know where she ends up, though. Can I just run there? Whew, we made it. Hello, Elizabeth. I knew you would find me easily. You've been here before, haven't you? Welcome to the mountain paddock. There's This is where we normally hold the first basic lessons for our druids and soul riders. It's never a good idea to stand in a fire. It's very painful. Avoid the fire without leaving the training area. When the exercise time is up, you'll have completed the task. Good luck. Okay, avoid the fire. And Nova's actually on the second stage of daily training, and those get a little more complicated. Well, this is not easy, of course. So I just keep keep a calm pace. It's good to keep you out of the fire if it appears behind you. It's still easy to steer. Going between those spots is always a little nerve-wracking. Oh, there's so much fire! Oh, the lesson's almost over. Almost over. Oh, where do we go? <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. We did it. Well done, Cadence. Precision and control are very important skills for druids and soul riders. You're now going to practice catching things. You need to catch 10 globes before the time is up. Good luck! You could do the exercise on horseback or on foot. Oh, I didn't know you could do it on foot. That's good to know. I don't know that I would... It might... It might be easier on foot. Take it easy? Yes. And I like when they're right next to each other. It's better to go to them early. See, we missed that one. Go to it early and wait than to try and run up and grab one as it's falling. No, see, we won't get that one. But if we come over here and wait, we'll totally get this one. We've got lots of time. Oh, can we get this one? Yes, we did it. You did it! Not that hard, was it? 
Everything isn't always about being the fastest or the strongest. For druids and soul riders, being mentally strong is just as important. That is why the next test is about making you mentally smarter and stronger. I'm going to ask you a dozen questions. You need to get 10 of them right to pass the exercise. This is where a lot of trainees fail, just so you know. You're not allowed to cheat and use the internet. Are you ready? Let's go then. I think I'm ready. I remember stopping at a couple of these and really having to think about it. Is there a river running through Fergrove Village? No, it runs through Valedale. Oh, I hit yes. As I said, no. <laughs> Did Jan Jarl discover Jorvik? Yes. Does the Baroness have white hair? Yes, I believe she does. Does Justin's grandfather, old Jasper, smoke a pipe? I think he does. Oh, good. <laughs> Is Fort Pinta located near the sea? Yes. Is the moon made of cheese? No. Are the four soul riders named Alex, Linda, Benny, and Bjorn? No, but that sounds like a really cool band. Are there cannons in Fort Pinta? Yes. I had to think those weren't taken away, were they? No, they're still there. Oh, yeah, we had this one. He does smoke a pipe. Is there a waterfall near, near Valedale Village? Yes. It was turning green for a little while. Is James in Fort Pinta taller than Justin from... No, James is really short. <laughs> Tough questions, aren't they? You did great. The best course of action isn't always to confront and defeat an enemy. Sometimes it's wiser to retreat. You are now going to be hunted by a shadow seeker inside the training ring. Oh no. Keep inside the ring and stay out of reach until the time is up. Don't be afraid. The shadow seeker is only an illusion for the sake of practice. <sighs> oh, oh my goodness. I thought it was just one. This is a whole bunch. <laughs> and they're very aggressive. Well, what if we just stand still? Go real slow over here. Oh, it changed directions. Just stay out of reach for as long as possible. Oh, gosh. Uh, oh, no. Go around. Please don't change direction. Please don't change direction. It changed direction! No! Ah! I'm sorry. I need to try that one again. Ah! Oh my goodness. Maybe we should stay at high speed. Or just don't move until it gets really close. Oh, lesson length. Please go more quickly. Mission complete. Please don't make me do that one again. That was really difficult. Well done. It was close a couple times, but you did great. Okay then, Cadence. I've introduced you to the first basic exercises for the Sun Circle. From now on, I'll be leaving the supervision of your exercises to another person. He is one of the druids, and you could find him here every day for your practice. Calling your instructor is easy. Just go up to the rune stone with the sun symbol here and call for him. It will always work as long as you have exercises to perform. Oh. Druid instructor, hello, ringing druid instructor. There he is. Welcome. Greetings, kids. I've come to help you with your exercises. Elizabeth said that you're a very promising young apprentice. I'm available every day to help you until you've reached the status liked with the sun circle. And we get a new instructor with different tasks. All right then, Cadence, good luck with your daily exercises. When you've achieved the status liked with the Sun Circle, we can talk at my house in Valedale and find out if the Druid Council has figured out what's happening next. I'll leave you here with your instructor. Don't forget, you need to do these exercises as often as you can, if possible, every day until you're ready. See you soon. It is so much work. So much dedication. Well, becoming a soul writer is very important and real serious business. So I can understand they want you to do a lot of work to get there, but it's still a lot of work. 
let's get started and get you liked by the Sun Circle. You seem to be ready to learn more about the secrets of the Keepers of Aideen. Each day you may complete three lessons until you are done. Great. Great. I guess I should do those now. Okay, I'm trying to do catch now off my horse. See how it goes. Uh, I might like this more. <laughs> okay, my recommendation is play catch not on your horse. Oh, that was so much easier off my horse. Good to know, good to know. On the fifth day of blacksmithing, Conrad gave to me more work to do and still no horseshoes. What's up, Conrad? Cadence, this is our fifth day of blacksmithing. Listen closely to my instructions. Let's get started. Hold on, we got back up. We got back up a little bit. No nonsense, that Conrad. Okay, I'm ready. Heat the iron on the forge. Whew, oh, finally. There, we're almost done. Only two more days and the horseshoes will be ready. Now the iron needs to set, so we have to stop for today. Tomorrow we'll connect the power in the horseshoes, and for that we will need more lapis lazuli. Listen up, kittens, to increase the power and connect the energy in your horseshoes, we need more lapis. You will find it in Nilmer's Highland, as you know. Collect four more chunks and bring them back here. That's right, here's the pickaxe. Thank you, sir. We will be on our way. There is our first piece. Oh, that's right, we need to be dismounted, of course. How could I not know? Nice! They're going to tie the powers together in your horseshoes to become one mighty unit. Cool! Only two more days. Lots of work, but great reward at the end. Our good friend Jasper needs us. Have you heard? It's terrible. The scarecrow has come to life again and disappeared. It isn't in the pumpkin field. Travelers in the area say they have seen it hanging around and scaring people all the way from here to Golden Leaf Forest. Do you think you could catch it and put it back in the field again? I don't know that I want to. It might eat me or something. I don't know. This is a Halloween quest. <laughs> so we're just looking for a bullying scarecrow. There it is. Hey guy, where are you going? We need you to c come on back. <laughs> He's going oh so slowly. Okay, we grabbed him. Uh. <laughs> Oh, back in the field. Okay. Cool. It's just going to get loose again, Jasper. It has a mind of its own. Sort of? Maybe? Hmm. I don't know how sentient scarecrows work. Is it really sentient, though? I don't know. Questions. Questions. <clears throat> there, it's back where it's supposed to be again. I hope it stays put and doesn't run away. The only thing it needs to do is sit there and look scary. How hard can it be, really? Maybe he gets bored. <laughs> he wants to go off and see the world and scare scarecrows ev and scare crows everywhere. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll find out next time if the scarecrow has stayed put. But we're out of time for today, but we have some very exciting quests coming up including more work in the garden. I like working in the garden. And Gretchen is missing. And you know what? That starts the whole tourist Helga and her family quest line. And once we wrap that up, we should be good to go for Epona. So yay, we're on our way. Very, very exciting. And now I have yet another reputation uh, to work on. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of New Fur Grove. New old fur grove, remodeled fur grove, I guess that's what I should say, and everything else you're up to. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!